Okay, so we're gonna go down Abun. This is my first time, but apparently it's super legendary. This is in a small alley, so you have to get here by foot. By the way, this is in Pasar Baru. It's a pretty authentic experience. I feel like you don't see this much on social media, I guess. Or maybe you do, actually. Maybe not on my social media. Oh, this is Squat Tech. Oh, so this is something they're famous for. Okay, so we're making a pit stop before Bami Abun, which is down that alley. You can see uh, the adventures of Kwatek on the wall. I think that's in China. <laughs> that's uh, Bruce Lee. And then, of course, the history. 10 most wanted food in Jakarta. See number seven. Look how cute is that photo. That's Kwatek when he was younger. Still got his hair. That's really good. Yeah, yeah mo satu cakwe, satu bantal. Brava? Okay, terima kasih, Okay, so we got the cakwe and the kue bantal. This is what it looks like. Beautiful golden brown, freshly fried. This dough smells incredible. So apparently there's a special way to do this sambal. This is my first time doing it. Dana just showed me how to do it just now. I'm I'm pulling it, right? Yeah. So I pull it so it doesn't splash everywhere. This is smart. This is some future technology. Like this? Yeah. This is good? And okay. And I bite the tip. Alright. So I made basically a small incision on the top. So it becomes like a small pipe. Wow, I've never had chakwe just like that. It's always usually with porridge. How do they make it not oily? Like usually chakwe is super drenched in oil. This is like dry. It's really like dry fried bread instead of deep fried. Even though it is deep fried, it just doesn't have that super oiliness. It's very light, not sickening. That's why I guess that they are the best. I'm gonna try it with the chili now. Ooh. Mmm. It's like a sweet spiciness to the bread. Fried food, sweet spicy chili is amazing. I get the hype. Okay, I'm gonna try the kue bantal now. Basically translates to pillow cake. This is a pillow fight that I could get behind. Oh, okay, much more dense. This one has the more texture of bread. I would say this is much more filling. And you can taste the dough a little bit more here. It's sweet. That's what makes it so good. There's a slight sweetness to the dough. It's still crispy. Not as crispy as the chakwe. By the way, chakwe in Chinese is called you tiao, which means oil stick. Sometimes in like Taiwan or different cultures, you dip it into soy milk and have it with soy milk in the morning. It's very nice. Sweetness to the friedness. I don't know if that's a good definition, but there's a lot of cats looking at us. What the dog doing? I can see dog. Anna actually off camera killed five of the takwe. I could see why now. We're gonna continue to Bami Abun and snack on this in the 50 meters we walk over. This room was empty when we got here and within less than five minutes, it's all full. We're gonna try two noodles today, just the Bami Ayam on its own. Why they're famous is apparently their noodles are all homemade. So it has a very distinct texture from other spots. Their noodles are a little bit more slidey. Of course, the flavors are gonna be distinct to Abun and they've been around for almost 60 years. So I'm gonna try the Bami Ayam first. That looks glorious. That is insane. The flavor for sure got MSG in it because that's umami. It's salty and the texture of the noodles, insane, chewy, beautiful. I think in my opinion, like it's hard to slurp because they're so long. I like my noodles dry, but this one is particularly dry and sticky, which I love the texture, but it doesn't matter because the fragrance and the flavor, phenomenal. Okay, this bowl is what they're very famous for. This is their Bami Special, which is what I see everybody here ordering. This has different kinds of pork. There's like pork belly, cashew pork, braised pork. The colors are very significant of Chinese Indonesian dishes called nasi campur. And they have these mushrooms as well. They're also pretty popular for their mushroom. Let me just try a bit of the meat. Mm, that's sweet with a nice fragrant flavor. This is the first time I've had pork belly thinly sliced. Oh shoot. Well, the pork belly has that crispy skin. This is amazing. We're gonna chow down on this and then we'll catch you on the next stop. One thing to look out for in Pasar Baru is these little stalls. They have a few of them over here and they all sell like traditional Indonesian street food cakes. That's what they basically call it. And we have a few things here. One of it is going to be called kue pancong. So kue pancong is basically coconut and rice flour. So he's making two things at the same time. Kue pancong and kue ape. So in Indonesian, sometimes people call it also as a kue tete, which is like a boob with a nipple in the middle. That's made out of pandan. It tastes incredibly delicious, and I'm sure married men can feel the same way. Bapak juga udah lama di sini dong ya. Tahun 72. Wah sama dong kayak kayak bami abun gitu semuanya. Terima kasih pak. Iya. Yeah, yeah. Terima kasih banyak pak. Okay, we're gonna start with the kue ape while it's still hot and crispy. 
This is made with pandan and wait, the best part is that it comes in a little plastic bag like this. It comes with like 10 inside. You can't buy any less. So this 10 is 20,000. This is $1.50 for this much. Oh, <laughs> That one fell, but I still have the rest intact. Is it even Happy Mad Sam without everybody staring at me making the stupid mistake? You are made of stupid. And being super embarrassed by it. And I hear someone over the street saying, wow, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, this is what it's called. This is a kueape. It's pandan in the middle that's been spread around. You get the crispy edges and in the middle is going to be soft and chewy. You're not really supposed to eat this like a taco. Some people eat it around the edges. I just go straight for it. I mean, it's amazing. You get different textures combined. It's toasty. The pandan flavor is super fragrant. Can be a little messy when you're eating it, but I mean, fantastic flavor. Look, look at the middle. That is chewy, soft, fragrant. Really reminds you of home in your home. Some people eat it like this. So they go around the edges first until you get the middle. The pandan cake itself, and then down it goes. It's beautiful. Okay, this one is called kue panchong. Wow, look at that. It's basically coconut and rice flour. It's toasted on the edges, as you can see, so you get a nice crispy texture. The fragrance on the inside is impeccable. So what you do is you're gonna open it first, revealing that inner white coconut bit, and then you sprinkle sugar. So it comes with this bag of sugar. They sprinkle the sugar on this. It's about that much for me. It's freaking insane, mate. I've never had it with sugar. I've always had it on its own. So on its own is savory. It's savory gooey because of the coconut. It's a like coconut cream. But with the sugar, boy, it's a game changer. Wow, I'm discovering new things while doing this. Wow, this is toasted coconut paradise.